<sighs> so I'm gonna make a video because I don't think well I have no way of knowing if you're gonna read the envelope that I sent to you if I were to write to you but my writing is not good anymore I don't want to confuse you with my bad writing and not be able to stay on one line when I'm writing anymore I don't just haven't done it for so long I'm just not used to it um I hate to have to do it this way, but um, I'd rather talk to you. But um, I was never the type of person to constantly bring up things and throw things in people's faces and constantly fight about things. Um, it, I guess when you're not happy with certain things, or you're constantly stressed, or you have PTSD like me, and whatever autism too, I guess, I don't know, um, you tend to react wrong, um, don't understand things, you hear things wrong, sometimes you live with not being diagnosed properly your whole life, try to get help, never get the right help, and um, stuff happens. Um, I wasn't like this before my grandfather moved in, but when he moved in, it was almost fights every single day, and then even when he moved out, he had heated up that place so much that there was always arguments, um, it was between my mom and my dad, and me and my sister, I mean, it was all over the place, always, all the time. Um... When I first started experiencing it, I used to run away to Juno Park and go lay down on the park benches. Um, I never had any therapy for the arguing, I never had any therapy for the stuff. I've been to the hospital, they tried to give me a medication, the medication was horrible, but I never tried to get any therapy, so I don't know if therapy can work or not. Um, I am willing to try. I don't like this constant cycle that I go in. Of course, it, I'm not pointing fingers, but things wouldn't be upset if things weren't constantly going wrong, too. I'm not like this when there's no drama. I'm easy to get along with. I don't like to fight. I can be fun. I can be myself when there's no drama going on. But when there's a lot of stuff that's going on and I'm overwhelmed, that's when things get set off. Um, when my dad started, you know, going through the cancer treatments and started putting me through stuff, I was there by his side all the time, whole time, even trying to help him get better and cure his cancer. And that was frustrating. That was hell that I wasn't able to save him. Um, that killed me. I blamed myself for not being able to help him for a long time. And, um... Uh, he put me through a lot of stuff. He said a lot of bad things. When he was going through that, he said things, put a lot of words in my mouth. You were there at the hospital. He lost his mind at one point there, but he, he was sick. And when I'm going through my issues, when I'm not being reasonable, when I'm not talking crazy and saying st stupid shit and doing stupid things and now hurting myself um I don't know where I'm going with that part but I didn't expect for you to turn your back on me the way you did I've been there for you through all of this had your back all the time, did everything I could for you to help you, and you took it for granted. Meanwhile, um, it's like a race to me. It was like a race till you're 18, because I wanted to make sure everything was right in your head before you turn 18, because once you turn 18, start getting into any kind of trouble, um, it's over. It's over. You can't, and I, I, I didn't want to see you have a bad life, and I seem to be more worried about your life than you did, 
it's important to me that you had your head straight. But, you know, you're 18 now. All that's too late. I can't, can't try to fix you anymore. I could help you if you need me, but I can't be your fixer. And I was there until my dad died. Have ever done anything to you so horrible that you gotta just up and leave me like this? I smacked you one time, and that's because you were being a little dick. How many? Fathers only smack their kid one time. I am. I'm sorry for a lot of things. I'm sorry for not accepting you for you when you were here. When in your mind, I took that for granted, but I didn't, I didn't want to take that time for granted, and that's why I was doing everything I could to try to help you, that's why we had all those doctor's appointments, that's why I struggled with all this so much, and when you screwed up, it made me really mad, because I put a lot of my life on hold for you, just to get you ahead of the game, and get you caught up, and get, make sure you're okay, in this world by yourself so once I leave if I ever leave I'm gone I'm gone I don't want to leave you behind and have to worry about you I love you I loved you since the day you are born I loved you before you were born I don't have to tell you how much time I spent in the hospital with you when you were a preemie I shouldn't have to tell you all that stuff. Somehow you got this illusion built up in your head that I... Like you're scared of me or something when you used to fall asleep and I used to close your eyes like that. and close your, It was like some, this forceful thing or something like that. I don't know where you got that in your head. But your memories on stuff when you were younger aren't the same. is reality. Um... Going off the subject here, I just want to talk to you. Why do get? Why do we got to say goodbye? Why does it got to be a goodbye? Family goes through rough times together sometimes. I mean, you're not going to go through rough times with anybody that's not in your family. But if you're going through something rough, I'm going through it with you. Unfortunately, if I'm going through something rough, you're around. Yeah, you go through it with me. You help me overcome it. I have problems, I know. But it takes family to push me to see that. I ask you every day, is there anything I could do better as a father? Sometimes I felt like I was an awful father. Just before you left, you told me I was a good father. Why you got to tell me stuff I want to hear? Why can't you tell me the truth? I ask you for a reason to tell me if there's anything I can do to change. And then you do this to me? I don't get it. Because you... You ignore everybody. I mean, you also... I mean, a, a poor dog, too. I mean, Cookie loves you. She misses you. My sister, back in the day when your mom took you from me, my mom, my dad, nobody in the family could speak to you. What is up with that? And why are you doing the same thing? I love you, man. I love you, Brent.